The Sapphire RS is a Core XY 3D printer made by Two Trees Technology. The biggest advantage of a Core XY printer is it's able to achieve higher printing speeds as there is less moving mass. The 3D printer comes neatly packaged in foam padding with the smaller items organised in boxes. The kit includes the base with the pre-installed electronics and stepper motors, a basic build instruction manual, a top plate with linear rails installed, 20x20 20 20 aluminium extrusions, guide rods and lead screw, extruder stepper motor, boxes with the additional parts and the bed carriage with the print bed attached. In the smaller boxes we can find the hot end assembly, a touchscreen display mounted to a metal frame and the hardware in labelled bags for building the printer. There is a 16 gig USB stick and a 200 gram roll of coloured PLA filament also included to get started. The Sapphire S is a DIY printer kit that requires some careful assembly and attention to detail. The assembly and setup of the printer will take a few hours following the included instructions. Most of the important build steps are in the instruction manual, although some steps and a user manual for additional features are lacking, but with some prior knowledge and research the printer can be set up. The 3D printer has a solid and rigid metal frame thanks to the 6mm top plate and the aluminium extrusions for the sides and bottom. The base section is made of plastic with two thin sheets of alloy laminated on each side. The metal bed carriage is a cantilever design which is supported by two large bearings and two 12mm guide rods. The extruder carriage moves along linear rails for the X and Y axis for an effortless and smooth operation. At the side of the printer is the power plug and switch. This is wired to a 24 volt power supply on the underside. The printer uses the Lurge X32 bit board with sockets for removable stepper drivers. There is a MOSFET for the heat bed and a relay for the on off power control. The factory wiring will need further cable management once all the wiring for the end stops and hot end are complete. Some of the wires in the kit are labelled and others are not. Each connection needs to be carefully checked during the build. Labels on the wires for the hot end cooling and the print cooling fan arrived incorrectly labelled. This was easy to fix by checking the wiring and plugging the correct connection into the board. This is something that may confuse a beginner building the machine. The main board has a separate cooling fan although the factory mounting position is a bit too close to the board. The hot end wires need to be bent at a 90 degree angle out of the board to enable the fan to fit. There is plenty of room underneath the printer so a better solution can be found. Some printers are shipped with a base cover but for this printer it was not included. This leaves the underside open and the wiring somewhat exposed. At the front of the printer there is a colour 3.5 inch touch LCD screen and an included plastic pencil. The touch screen has an easy to navigate interface and is used to control the printer, change settings, start prints and turn off the printer. Next to the screen there is a power button for turning on the printer and a USB port. The printer uses a USB stick for the sliced 3D files for printing. The printer has a build volume of 200 by 200 by 200 millimeters and there is a build tack style surface attached onto the heated print bed. This is a good surface and holds the prints well without any issues during printing. Manual leveling of the print bed is completed by adjusting the three thumb screws with two located at the front and one located at the back centre of the bed carriage. There is also an auto level in function that uses a film pressure sensor. This is connected to the pre-installed wires behind the print head and is placed on the nozzle. The sensor can only be used when the nozzle is cold and must be removed before commencing a print. A user manual for the operation of the auto bed level is not included but this information can be found at the Lurge site. The 3D printer uses a Titan style extruder which feeds the filament to the hot end through a PTFE tube. The hot end comes with a 0.4mm nozzle installed and has two cooling fans on each side for even cooling of the prints. The print quality of the first test prints for the calibration cube and the Benchy boat both turned out well considering a standard slicer profile was used. These were both printed at a 0.2mm layer height and at 60mm a second. There was some minor stringing present on the boat which can be adjusted in the slicer settings. Once set up correctly 
and with a tuned slicer profile, the printer is capable of producing some great prints. Other features on the 3D printer include a print resume function if there is a power outage during a print. Once powered back on, the print can be resumed and finished. There is a filament runout sensor included, and this can be placed in between the filament spool and the Titan extruder. A custom mounting solution will need to be made to mount the sensor onto the frame. Another good feature is the completed print power down. When selected, this shuts down the printer to a standby state once the print is finished. Powering off the printer is made by the touchscreen with the small power icon located in the top right hand corner. This gives the option to restart or shut down the printer. The printer still remains live until the main side switch is turned off. The Two Trees Sapphire Core XY 3D printer is a great machine and offers some interesting features. Once built and set up correctly, the printer performs well and produces good quality prints. For a beginner looking for a first machine, there are other 3D printers to consider. This printer is best suited to a user with prior 3D printing experience and knowledge.